this is a video about a recent project I've been working on with online jamming. So if you want to find out my story, what happened, I'll turn off work a couple of months. Um, here's a clip about the motorbike accident. But it's um, given me the opportunity to look into online jamming. So for the last probably six weeks, I've been jamming with my friends, getting the band back together, jamming two or three times a week, and um, just optimizing the setup and trying different programs. And today, I wanted to show you a program uh, called Sonobus. So let me show into that. So you can download it from uh, uh There's two couple of ways to open it. You can just open the standard application. This is probably the easiest way to start online jamming. Um, you just click once you've configured it. So set your inputs and outputs. Um, you can use a audio interface or just a standard microphone, USB mic or anything like that, plug into your computer. Uh, it's recommended to use headphones initially, but um, I'll talk to you a bit about these other options like Soundflower, Hole Black Hole, we'll talk about that uh, perhaps in another video, but that, that opens up the opportunity to, um, to add uh, guitar effects and, uh, and a whole range of things. So I'll just show you, this is just a short one, how to get started with some of us, so you click connect, Type in the group name, so um, friends uh, connect, uh, lengthy name, and then um, connect. This is in a private group, so if my friend typed in that same name, he would pop up here. We would be instantly connected, and um, and then it would it would display a few other settings that you could that we could change. So I'll go through the settings to optimize the performance um, because. You want to get the right balance between audio quality um, and latency. So latency is the time it takes for the, for the sound to travel, and so the sound's traveling via the the internet, not quite at the speed of light, but um, still the further it's got to go, and the more processing required, um, the slower the computer processing, the more latency there'll be a bit of delay when you're uh, trying to jam, which obviously doesn't work. So. You want the latency under 30 milliseconds to sound like you're just in the same room. So the first thing you want to do is set the sample rate to 48,000. The higher the sample rate actually makes it uh, less latency, but it uses more processing. So then choose a lower sample rate. Like I've been finding some good results with 64 samples. Um, depending on your setup, you might be able to go a little higher to 128. Uh, but that's worked quite well. And then um, and I go through all of this in detail in, uh, in my ebook that I've written, link in the description. But um, the other things that will pop up, it'll say in the middle of the screen, once your friend connects, jitter buffer. So the jitter buffer is um, a setting you can, you can make higher to increase the latency a little bit, just a few milliseconds. Um, it gives the computer more time to process, uh, so that'll make it smoother, less crackling, uh, better quality. But then it's the balance of um, can you deal for latency. So I've found, um, you, you, I can't tell if there's any delay if I've got the jitter buffer about 10 milliseconds um, connected at 64. And then the other thing you'll choose is your in, uh, your receives and your sends. So that'll, that'll be some various options that'll pop up. It'll say the lowest is 16 kilobytes per second. Um, it'll go all the way up 96 kilobytes per second. Then it'll go to 16 bit, PCM 16 bit. If you can, PCM 16 bit is the best um, for lowest latency, high high quality uncompressed audio, but it'll use a lot of data and a lot of processing. So if you live a li little bit further away, um, I've been jamming with my friend who's uh, about 100 kilometers away, and it's been working fine. But occasionally, if the connection's getting bad, he's got a bit of an older computer, we'll go to um, a lower setting like 96 kilobytes and that'll compress the audio. It'll um, add a little bit of latency in doing so, but uh, you'll end up with a better result with, um, with actually better, a better sound. So that's a little bit about Sonobus. I'll just go through a couple of the other options. So a private group, you could public group, that's, that is no one at the moment, but uh, you can see other serve, um, other people that have created a public group for anyone to join, and you want to find one that's in your location uh, as close as possible, really. Um, and 
direct, that's just for within your local area network. So say another computer in the other room of your house. Um, so not, yeah, so that's the main main part of Sunbus. I'm going to make some other videos about um, a couple of other ways. There's uh, Jamulus and Jacktrip, Jamfizam. These are all other ways to jam online. Sonobus is the simplest way to get started. You don't have to do complicated port forwarding or anything like that. Um, it also works well on a mo on, on your phone, on a mobile phone, and there's a um, iOS app or an Android app. Um, but you uh, obviously you would need an, a special adapter if you wanted Ethernet. But it still will work over 4G or 5G or um, or over Wi-Fi. Just not it won't be as stable. So that's a quick summary of Sonobus. Um, I might be able to give you a demo later when my friend comes online, but. Just thought I'd put that up for anyone interested in getting into online jamming. All the best.